This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. So Cash Cobain supposedly wrote some songs for Drake and a like a reference track leaked. He denied it on this podcast. They asked him about it and he said, that's Cap. I never wrote for Drake. I write for myself. That's it. Smart. You don't want to stop the money coming in. You don't want to stop the money coming in, right? So you got to lie about it now. Stephen A. Smith, um, he put Diddy on blast again. He said, you deleted all the videos off your page. Yeah, I don't care if you got an indictment coming or whatever. I mean, Diddy just made things really hot for himself. Deleting all those videos uh, attracts more attention, gets more people talking, um, lets people think that, hey, an indictment is rolling down on this guy. And, uh, you, you know, it's just like, you deleted even the apology video. I mean, it's ridiculous. You know, it's like you would want people to know that you're sorry for that, right? He made a good point. You know, he's he's just really disappointed in Diddy, you know? I don't know why he takes it so personally, but... He sticks to sports, but... <laughs> Chief Barakas speaks at Town Hall of Violence in Tampa. They're getting a lot of leads on who took out... Julio Fulio. I mean, they had, they're going to find out who did that in a second, man. Whoever was in Tampa, that was up. You got Spina Benz to look into. You got uh, Young and Ace. Something probably connected to them. You did have other ops that might have traveled down from Jacksonville. Who knows, you know? But they had a whole week to prepare. This guy put up the, uh, the address, you know? So it is what it is. 50 Cent goes to Tyler Perry Studios, gets welcomed. Uh, and I, I like this a lot because um, 50 Cent's taking all preparations. Says, I'm leaving no room for error. Tyler showed me some stuff today that inspired me. I need all my money. If you owe me, you better give me mine now. Okay, so, you know, he went to Tyler Perry Studios, was showed around, and, uh, you know, 50's building his own studio in Shreveport, so... Um, that's pretty big. That's pretty big. I mean, it's going to have a lot of opportunity for people. Now, Blueface Baby Mama says she's not a one-hit wonder. She came out there. She came, came out a year ago. It might be a one-hit wonder. Azealia Banks is letting Ice Spice know that she doesn't sound like Y2K. Ice Spice is thinking that she's bigger than she is, I think. You know, it's like she's she's falling off quite fast. Um, and this might be her first and only album, not to be negative, but, you know, she talks about this is absolutely not Y2K. Um, Nikki Pack Weave, we need a new hair color. You know, she's basically calling her out for, like, copying Nikki. That's exactly what happened, so... It is what it is, man. I'll have some new news in a minute. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. I'll be back in an hour. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button for me. I appreciate you guys so much. And I will check you guys in the next one. Peace.